Now there's a place that's blessed. Now there's a place that's blessed. Where we find happiness. Hello, it's Tuesday night, August 2016, and this is Empowerment for Today, the devotional. My name is Babatunde Uchubara, and I am your host for today. Luke 15 verse 29 and 31 says, But he answered his father, Look, this many years I have served you, and I have never disobeyed your command. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. Our topic for today is, All that is mine is yours. A lot of times we live below our potentials because we have a wrong mentality. A text alights certain characteristics of a guy we seldom talk about. Identity crisis, low self-esteem, self-righteousness were some of the things the big brother of the popular prodigal son was suffering from. He had an upright disposition. I have been serving you all this while. He was obsessed with always being right and felt he was all righteous. He also had a small mentality. You never gave me a small God. Some believers are like this guy. Our eyes have been blinded to who we really are in Christ and what we have access to. We are so engrossed in our self-righteousness to fully understand our place in Christ and experiencing defeat in our lives. The Bible says that if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Being in Christ come with certain benefits. The book of Romans says we are now joint heirs with Christ. Therefore, everything he has access to is all ours as well. In other words, whatever cannot hold Christ down should not be able to hold us down. Ephesians says God has raised us up together with Christ and made us sit with him in heavenly places. We cannot afford to keep going around with mentality of this big brother hoping we will get by, allowing the devil to torment us with sickness, poverty, depressions, low self-worth, etc. The father told the guy he had access to all he had. Meanwhile, the guy was thinking of a young, small God. You are better than this. You have a great inheritance in Christ. As long as you stay connected to him and refuse to lose focus, Begin today to dig deeper and identify your new creature realities and begin to walk in it. There is no limit in God. The sky is your beginning. Shalom. Let's take our confessions together. I am a new creature in Christ. I refuse to live below my potential. All that the Father has is mine. I choose to walk in my new creature realities. Hallelujah. Maxwell Maltz said, and I quote, Love self-esteem is like driving through life with your handbrake on. You can follow us on Twitter at Kingdom Africa TV and also like us on Facebook, Kingdom Africa TV. Comment on how these devotionals have been a blessing to you. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I would like to accept Him into your life today. Please say this prayer with me. Father, I know that I have broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. I am truly sorry. And now I want to turn away from my past sinful life towards you. Please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died for my sins, was resurrected from the dead, is alive and hears my prayer. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you have said this prayer from your heart, congratulations. Please email us at 
devotions at Kingdom Africa TV. We would like to know you better and help you grow in your new faith.